unfortunately, they, they do have these bones, a sesamoid bone in an ankle, a cannon bone, and if they take a bad step, it's it's uh, it can be catastrophic, and it's um, something that we all worry about every day. So, when Kentucky trainer Kenny McPeak sees society romp in the grade three Chicago stakes in a track record time, and that there have been zero catastrophic injuries in three weeks of racing at Ellis Park in Henderson, you can almost hear the collective sigh of relief from him and the industry, including Kentucky trainer Brad Cox. But no breakdowns, everything's been really good with the track, uh, turf and dirt, and uh, you know, the same thing in the mornings. It's been really solid of the mornings as well with the training. Moving the races has bought Churchill Downs time to figure out why there were 13 catastrophic injuries in April and May. But answers remain elusive. And while racing has stopped, many horses still train at Churchill, including Cox. All I can focus on is the horses I have under my care. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty content and happy with training here. Ellis will continue hosting races after Churchill's meet ends. Its annual summer meet starts next week and runs through the end of August. But McPeak warns the problem won't go away, even if Churchill finds the why. The sport's in overdrive trying to minimize the risks, but even if it does, the reality is horse racing is inherently dangerous. Horses do get injured, and, and I think that we're never going to have a, a zero-sum game where no horse ever gets injured. It is the hardest part about the game. Um, no one's more upset when it happens than, than myself, the staff, the client. And um, it's a, um, you know, it's something that everybody's working really hard on.